Well, hey there. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. But welcome to my channel. This is Jess Suasion speaking live and on cam. So, yeah, we're going to just get right into this tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to clean my face. But before I clean my face, I really wanted to show you guys my frontal, my lace frontal wig. Yes, it's a lace frontal wig. I'm going to zoom in right about now so you guys can see that thing is like melted into my freaking forehead and if you guys would love to see a tutorial on this just leave comments down below but i definitely finessed the hell out this wig but back to the tutorial so i'm gonna spritz all of this alcohol all over my face and i'm gonna use the face pads and clean off any dirt bacteria or anything you know it's just lurking behind. I really could have spritzed it on the pad, but I just like to be extra sometimes. And, you know, spritz, it makes me feel like I'm, like, on a commercial or something. After I'm done cleaning my face, I'm going to go ahead and prime. The primer that I'm using is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance with high, high, ooh, cannot say this word. It's the H word acid um but it's the rose gold one just in case you do go look for it and it honestly makes you radiate from beneath your makeup um after i'm done blending it out on my face you're gonna see my face just has this really nice glow to it like i'm just shining apart from shining i'm gonna go ahead and use anastasia's foundation stick in the shade amber and i'm applying it all over my face now with this foundation stick i feel like you really do have to like build it up to be full coverage because i feel like you know that first layer when you blend it out it can still be kind of sheer because it is kind of hard to blend out at that the foundation stick is a little rough to blend out but it's workable and i just love it i feel like this is like the perfect kind of foundation to have like in your go kit if you're like on the go to highlight my face i'm going to be using color pop snow filter concealer in the shade 40 this concealer is really great um i have no bad reviews to say about it only thing i would say about it which i don't consider a bad thing but it kind of isn't a good th good thing. It dries quick, so it's good to blend it out right away. And I'm also going to be using the same concealer in the shade 30 just to give my under eye a highlight because I like to have my under eye pop in. Not to mention I'm going to blend the concealer out with my beauty blender. And I'm also going to take it up onto my eye to use as an eye primer or eyeshadow base for my eyeshadow. Now, I've kind of gotten to this thing of doing my eyebrows halfway through my base makeup, so I'm going to be using the Palladio Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown and black. I'm just going to outline my eyebrows with the black pencil, and I'm going to do it to the other eyebrow. And then I'm going to blend them out. And then after I blend them out, I'm going to add the brow. Oh, I lied. I'm not blending them out. I'm adding the brown pencil to the front, and then I blend them out. So I outlined with black, added the brown to the front part of the eyebrow, and started to blend it all together um, until I get the desired eyebrow. Uh, what's that? What would be the word? Like, it's not translucent. Like, you know, you're, when your eyebrow fades. Like, I like to have the opacity i guess that's what the word would be correct me if i'm wrong but i'm gonna go with the word opacity and um i'm also gonna dip into this wet and wild palette with these the black and the brown shade and it just gives me a perfect perfect in between of black and brown and i fill in the eyebrow i like to use the pencil and then use the eyeshadow because i feel like the eyeshadow sets the it sets the eye pencil in place and it also fills in any gaps so it works for me so hey 
And I am going to come up with an eyebrow tutorial just to be a little bit more detailed. Now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer in 40 again. And I'm going to outline my eyebrow. I'm not outlining it exactly to my shape. I'm literally like outlining like real like below that's why my eyebrow looks so large and then i'm gonna use a concealer brush and go up it helps to blend out the concealer without messing up your eyebrow sometimes if you use too much concealer close to your eyebrow where you want the shape it like it like bulks up right at that line and you don't want that to happen so you want to add the concealer real a little lower than where you actually want that line to define your eyebrow at and then go in with the concealer to diffuse it and then start to bring it up gradually to get your uh, desired eyebrow shape and i'm also going to take it um after I blend, I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Eleven, you know I love my finger. That's like my handy dandy tool right there. Um, after I'm done blending out the bottom concealer, I'm also gonna take the con same color concealer up on top of my eyebrow. Um, I just like to be dramatic with the eyebrows. You know, it just that's my thing. The eyebrows is like the pinpoint of the face as well as the eyes. So you know, I just had to go all out for this look. And I'm also going to diffuse the eye, not the eyeshadow, but the concealer more with a beauty blender to blend it in. And I'm glad that I think that's one of the reasons why I do my eyebrows midway now is because it diffuses into the foundation because nothing is set yet. And I don't know, I just like it. So trust, trust the, the process. process. <laughs> Now set in all concealed parts with Revolution's Luxury Baking Powder. And before I set anything, since I didn't set right away after applying the concealer, I'm going to blend it out just again to get any creases that might have formed while I, were, I was doing my eyebrows. And then I'm going to go in and set Now I'm going to be adding an extra layer underneath my eyes of baking powder just to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow because I am doing a bold look. I'm using the Morphe Dare to Create well, slash 39A palette. This palette is amazing. I'm familiar with this palette. It is gorgeous. It's really gorgeous and it's my all-time favorite palette. It's just anything Morphe does is just to me can't be bad they can't go wrong so i'm gonna use go in with define me with a morphe blendy brush and i'm gonna take that up into my crease and i'm gonna blend it out as a transition sh color if you want you can skip this step and you're gonna see why at the end of the tutorial why i said you can skip this shade or color or blendy <laughs> now using the same brush i'm going into evolve and i'm gonna use that in the same parts that I use to find me but more so closer to the eyelid just because I'm deepening it like I said you can probably skip this step as well but just wait till the end and you will see the end result <laughs> and now I'm gonna be going in with a different Morphe brush into the shade Indigo and I'm gonna add that into the corner of my lid really close to the corner of my lid switching back to the first morphe brush i was using i'm going to blend indigo into the transition shades and using that brush, I'm going to go into frame and I'm going to apply it into the outer corner of the wing and I'm deepening it. And you, and this is where you're going to start to see where I was talking about as those transition shades are starting to 
fade away, especially when I go more into the blue. Now using a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush, I'm going into the black shade. I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. But it's the black shade in the Dare to Create palette. And I'm going to add that at the corner and blend it in. I'm going to use a LA Girl Pro Concealer to cut the crease of my eyelid and that is where I'm going to add a sparkly shade from the palette and the concealer is just giving me something tacky to have the eyeshadow stick to when applied. Using my finger, I'm going to go into Dare Me, and that is where I'm going, that's the shadow that I'm going to apply to where I have the concealer, and I'm only focusing on the middle part of my lid. To be more precise, I took a Real Techniques um, smaller eyeshadow brush, and I applied Dare Me. And using that same brush, I'm going to go into Image, and Image is going to be applied to the rest of the lid and using the same exact brush I'm gonna go into Taylor and apply that to my inner corner using the brush that I applied the blue with originally I'm gonna go back in and deepen where my cre the cut crease is deep in right there and the outer corner and blend 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 and then using a Sephora liquid eye pen I am going to apply that to my top lid and give myself a wing liner I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Now using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan and a Real Technique Buffing Brush, I'm going to buff out all of this leftover residue of my baking powder and blend out. I ain't trying to look like no cake face, I ain't trying to look like no ghost, I blend it out till ain't nothing else left to blend. And to make my life easier, I just grabbed a contour brush by Wet n Wild and the 3-in-1 Master Contour Palette by Maybelline and I'm just going to contour and I'm going to blush and I'm going to highlight all in one. I just was, I got lazy. I was just like, ugh, let me just grab something that has everything I need. And this was it. It's perfect on the go. Taking my NYX eyeliner pencil in the shade black, and I'm going to eyeline my waterline. And then taking a small Real Techniques brush, I'm going to go back into that black shade from the palette, and I'm going to smudge out the eyeliner. And I'm just adding more of the shade Taylor to the bottom tear duct. Now grab some of my used falsies out of my kit, got them pulled apart. And but out, you got you some false lashes that I'm about to apply. Grab you any false lashes, don't matter, girl. We stunting out here. We stunting. I just grabbed some old ones. Most likely cherry blossom one one thirty seven, and cherry blossom is the eyelash supplier for my beauty supply. Um, you might be able to find them. I looked them up online, but I wasn't able to like actually find them. I just know that's the name of the lash at my store. 
and I'm using the Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara and blend my real lashes with the falsies. And don't make fun of me that I have the miniature one. It was given to me for my birthday from Sephora. I have the big one. I own the big one. I just want to use out this little one before I start using the big one. Now I have three lip looks for this look. Um, first one that we're going to start with, I'm going to be using a brown lip pencil and I'm going to outline my lips. And then taking my Anastasia Lip Palette Volume 1, I'm using my finger and I'm going to go into the blue shade and apply it to my lips. Um, I'm being lazy and that's why I'm using my fingers, don't mind me. After I'm done applying the blue shade, I'm going to go ahead and apply the white shade to lighten up the blue. At this point, I was just observing, trying to see if I could feel the blue or not, but I wasn't really feeling it. So I went in with this pinkish brownish shade and applied it to the outer parts of the lips to kind of bring back a kind of lip liner look again because the lip liner kind of got diffused when I add the blue. And conceal to clean up. Um, this lip color, this lip color is, um, reminding me of the Fenty Beauty lip color. I don't remember what it's called. It's called, um, it's not Midnight Wasabi. It's like, I can't remember. Hold on, you guys. Give me one second. Let me figure out what the heck. You dig, you dig is the name of the. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You dig. It totally reminds me of it. It's not, you know, of course, not as pigmented because I didn't go like too crazy into the Anastasia lip palette, like to get like that crazy color because I didn't really know um how the color payout was gonna come out, especially since I was mixing it on my lips. I didn't actually mix it on the palette. Which would probably, it would have probably came out a little bit better if I did that and then applied it, then applying one at a time and mix them. But I, um, I actually like it. I like the color. Um, it definitely looks really good with a liner. My liner, um, got blended out when I mixed because I applied it with my finger. But I definitely would go in a little bit darker around these sides but ain't no biggie you know some people might rock it just like this and ain't nothing wrong with rocking it just like this because you know you look cute girl you look cute it's all about the way you work it yo it's all about the way you work it but yeah um i like it i like the color um i'm definitely gonna try i'm not going out i'm actually gonna work like take i'm gonna like after this video i'm gonna take off all my makeup and go workout that's my night for you guys you would think i'm going somewhere but i'm not i just decided to film this look it looks really good um i would definitely do this though if i was doing this eye look i would go for a neutral lip but i know there is girls out there that just are is extra you know my friends they're extra and i just know there's people out here that is extra that like to look extra like to do extra like to go big it's a bit go big or go home so that's why i went with this lip but i'm definitely gonna try it with a lip color that like a nude lip I, that's what i really wanted to try it with and 
you want to see that, stay tuned. But yeah. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, I'm really feeling... Oh, don't mind that. I'm really feeling this look, though. Um, I changed from the blue one to this more nude one, and I really like it. Um, And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I did. I didn't film what I did to get this lip look. But I can tell you what I did. I put on a brown lip liner. And then I went in with the Anastasia. I believe this is 11. Yeah, 11. Um, on Around the outer. And then for the inner, I went in with this 7. Hold on. I lied. I went in with 8. So I went in with the lip color 8, which is this brown, like brown, kind of subtle pink. Um, and then I went in with 11 um, in the inner part, only in the inner. But for the outer, I went in with 8 from the Anastasia Lip Palette Volume 1. And I really like this lip color. Um, usually when you go bold with the eyes, a subtle lip looks really nice. And if you're going basic on the eyes a bold lip but hey if you you prefer the blue over this subtle lip that's totally up to you that's totally fine i personally do like it like and it's super comfortable like i love that lip palette it's just super the the, the texture of it is matte but not dry and matte it's like a soft matte it's really cool and if you want to Add lip gloss to it. Go ahead and add lip gloss to it. Um, I don't know if I want to add lip gloss. Let me see. I guess I'll add lip gloss. Just to, you know, give y'all some options. I'm going to add lip gloss to it. I'm adding lip gloss. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip, um, the Ellery Times Color Pop collab in this is stilo and because i don't wanna like mess up my brush I only did that because, like, I didn't really want to mess it up. But, yeah, you can gloss it up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. It is getting hot up in here. I'm ready to turn my fan on. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy my tutorial. Look, it's missing. It's missing my. Ooh, come on. It's missing my beauty mark, which I already have. I'm not like. I'm not like the girls, you know, that be making the fake ones. But I, I got them. I think this one's a mole, but this one's definitely a beauty mark. Eh, no offense to the girls that do be doing the beauty mark, because the beauty marks is popping. You know? So I'm going to. Pre draw mine. And we got you. And you know what? I'm going to even do one up here, because I'm. Cause I'm feeling it, you know, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, and I'm even gonna do one right here. You know, I don't even really do this, but I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling it right now, okay? And you know, dab it out a little bit. 
guys that help me get look more realistic. Oh, a transfer lipstick. Poor thing. And we're back in business. Okay? We're back in business. I should never do this one.